Okay, this is a phase di diagram, and the first thing we want to do is to label where the gas, solid, and liquid are. So how I remember where um, these are is I imagine if we're at a low temperature, so down here, and a high pressure, um, if you can imagine really cold and high pressure, you're going to have the solid. And then the opposite, if we have a really high temperature and low pressure, we're going to have a gas, and then the liquids in between. Okay, if the solid is at four atmospheres and it's heated, so four atmospheres, we're heating it, at what temperature does it start to melt? And so start to melt, we want it to hit this line. This is the line where um, solid and liquid are at equilibrium. So when we get to that point, that's where it starts to melt. And it's about 400. Don't worry too much if you're not using a ruler, if you don't get the exact number. The main thing is you don't, um, you know not to go all the way over here and get that number. Okay, this is the same phase diagram, just redrawn. Um, okay, so if we have a gas at 100 C, so just remember, so we have a gas at 100 Celsius, so that's here, and 0.5 atmospheres, that's there, so right here, and we're going to compress it. Compress means increase the pressure. And so um, what'll happen is we'll go from the gas area to the solid, so gas to solid, and that phase change is called deposition. Okay, let's do the next one. Um, we have a pressure of three atmospheres, so we'll just kind of mark that. And what temperature will the gas and liquid be at equilibrium. So I want to find the gas and liquid line. This is um, where you have the gas and liquid at equilibrium is on this line. And so I'm going to and that looks like it's somewhere about 490. The last question is, at what temperature and pressure um, do all phases exist in equilibrium? So like I told you, these lines tell you what's in equilibrium. Um, like here, we have uh, the gas and solid. Um, but for all three, it's this point here. It's called the triple point. That's where you can have all three at equilibrium. So it looks like about 1.5 atmospheres. And maybe 230 degrees C.